Here we have a clip of an Amazon delivery driver inside their delivery vehicle uh, making a short form piece of content exposing what that life is like and kind of the complexity of that lifestyle or that job. Why am I calling it a lifestyle? It's uh, there's some quite a bit of surveillance here. It's how we are tracked. It's probably recording me recording it, but it can't hear me. So that's nice. So it has one camera facing me, one camera facing forward, and then one camera on each side. The one camera in front tracks how close we are to other drivers um, and if we stop at stop signs. So if we don't stop at a stop sign, like fully stop, then we get a violation for that. It tracks our speed, so we cannot go more than six miles per hour over the speed limit or we get a speeding violation. These vans also track our buckle count. So it'll count how many times we buckle our seatbelt, and if we don't buckle it enough, then, um, or we like miss a buckle, then that is a seatbelt violation. But also, that camera is watching me while I drive, so I cannot do a lot. If I want to sip up my coffee, I have to pull over um, so that I can grab it and drink it, because if I do it while I'm driving, then that's a driver distracted which is also a violation. I can't touch the center console or else that is a driver distracted um, violation. One guy was itching his face, his beard one time, and uh, the camera picked it up that he was on the phone. Well, that'd be a problem for me right there. Violation for itching his face, but they disputed it. And I cannot unbuckle my seatbelt until I am in park. I also cannot get out of my seat until I'm in park, which is obvious. So yeah, everyone who works for Amazon pretty much hate those little things. But we have to remember it's just for safety. <laughs> but I thought I would give y'all a little rundown of it because I feel like it's asked a lot. But there you go. Have a good day. So what do you think, Will? Is this... Okay, so she goes at the end, it's just for safety. Well, you know, she still works there. And 1.3 million views on this. It would be a kind of a... Uh, what would you say? Like a stressful experience knowing that all these inputs are being tracked all the time mm -hmm. that you're being watched to that extent where everything is being reviewed like a beard scratch is misinterpreted as being on your phone mm -hmm. obviously you don't want distracted drivers that could be that's terrible news for amazon and well for the public i guess if people are getting distracted and run over or whatever but the the buckling if you need to reach up and touch the screen if you i guess i got a small taste of it in my tesla when it's like hey pay attention mm -hmm. but this is feeling less robotic and more like you know you're getting a report a driver distracted report and eventually i, I presume you're losing your job if you're distracted too frequently mm -hmm. i just think working under the uh pressure of the the surveillance is it would just be different. Mm -hmm. You're trapped, right? That oh, well, different. Guy I mean, not is how I, I, honker just I, I get at you. it. I get it, but I mean, maybe this is something that people are are used to at this point. I don't know. Uh, apparently, those who drive semis have similar systems in place, and it's a it's a safety thing. They're they're able to. I guess it's a, it's like almost like training in real time as you're getting these reports on things that you're doing that are unsafe. You do them less frequently because you're aware of the reports. But just scratching your beard, I mean, that's... Yeah. You're second guessing all types of actions as you drive. Yeah, it's like, what are the rules now? Yeah. It's so subtle. Yeah. So obviously a variety of opinions on that matter.